Hello! Welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Allison, and today I am making, you guessed it based on this title, Greyhound Pajamas. <laughs> I'm so excited. So as you know, we have two Greyhounds, Andy and Barry. Barry and Andy. Andy is our older man's. His birthday is coming up next weekend. He's going to be turning eight years old, which is crazy because I feel like we've not had him very long. But we have had him for about four years now, which is kind of wild. And in that four years, I have been thinking and wanting and hopefully trying to make Greyhound pajamas. I've attempted them once before and they didn't work out. They were way too small. So I found a different pattern online that I'm hoping, fingers crossed, will fit these boys. I have a couple of different um, fabrics just a couple, just a few different um, fabrics and knits that I'm going to be using to create this pattern. I'm going to draft it using this navy soft knit stretch because I think that the knitting, the knit material will be a little bit more forgiving um, with the sizing as I'm working a mock-up. And also I have tons and tons and tons of this navy fabric and I figured I can donate a yard to this cause while I figure this out. So I did print and measure already. Um, I did this off camera, although it was super cute and I probably should have gotten it on camera. But this is the rough outline of the main piece of the pajamas. And then I have the arms and the neckband off camera right now. But I had to lay this, this piece on top on top of uh, both boys and they were so confused by it and did not like it. Uh, zero out of 10 hated it, <laughs> but I just needed to get their measurements and to make sure that it was the right size. And as you can see, I made some on the cuff, off the cuff rather adjustments to it. So that way it would fit them better. But this is, this is roughly what we're working with for the first mock-up. And then as we need, we will be making adjustments to the pajama pattern. Without further ado, let's dive into it. <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing is giving it a little bit more space at the top here, um, where it's a center line, do not cut. That's on the fold. A little bit of extra grace at the top, because when I was measuring it, it was measuring a little bit small on both of them, just wrapping around wise. So this up here is going to be where the neck is, and then that is where the butt is. But right now I'm leaving the butt kind of whole and then what I'm going to do is when I do the first measurement on them, I'm going to kind of mark where I should be cutting the butt flap. But this is, this is where we're at right now. And then I'm going to cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, I just tried these on both dogs. I did the neck little strap thing and the arms. They fit. They're a little loose and gapy in the chest area, so I'm going to tighten that up. But before I do that, I also marked the, the mock-up a little bit better. So I don't know if, you, if it's coming up, but I did make a notch for where the leg hole, like where I need to cut out for their bits. But I think this is gonna work. And now while I have this mock up like this before I sew it up even further, I'm gonna cut another piece and I'll be right back. Okay. 
Wendy. upside down. No, I didn't. We're good. Thank you for being so patient. <laughs> okay, one foot. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There you go. So sharp, a little tight, a little tight under the arms. <laughs> okay, so it's a little tight under the arms. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy, but you look so handsome. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. So this is just a little toit, a little toit under here, huh? Be able to like, well, it's not that tight. You're able to move. Just like a little gapey in the wrong areas, huh? <laughs> I got like some fuzzies on it. What do you think? I don't know what that means. He looks a little bit like a wizard. Okay, I think these can probably be done up. To here maybe? Make like a little, little bitty indent. <laughs> Andy is just so, he's so upset. Hang on. Andy, what do you, what do you, <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Not your favorite, huh? Not your favorite. You're tolerating it, but, so it's, it's kind of pouchy here. But honestly, I don't mind that. It's just tight around his little arms. Like I thought that I gave him the right amount of arm space, but he's got a gap here. And the legs are a little uneven. <laughs> but honestly, I think that might just be. I'm gonna try and readjust it. <laughs> the legs are a little uneven, Bubba. <laughs> But, um, this is like what the side looks like. So obviously like this is his actual belly here. So we've got to cut away a little bit of that cause you're looking little wizards. Looking a little wizardry. Not a bad first attempt. Barry is just already snug as a bug in a wug. So I think he is as a fitting okay. Oh, big stretch. All right, so you can still stretch in it, so that's good.